Hope everyone had a good Valentine's Day. The pot roast I made turned out pretty tasty. Got a thank you, Mom. It was good from my son, which made me feel good. I heard from someone in New York. I heard from someone in Azerbaijan. And I'm thinking, where? I know I've heard of it, but where is it? So I had to look it up. Most Americans have, well, most Americans don't even know where all the states are in this country. But a great deal of Americans have no clue where anything is else in the world, you know? If I had to look it up, it's on the Caspian Sea, on the Silk Road, the Silk Route area over in, uh, what do they call that? Uh, something Asia. So it's a mix of two words. Eurasia, I guess? Anyway, interesting. You learn something every day. And when you stop learning, that's t your time is up. I must have been gritting my teeth or something in the middle of the night because it hurts like heck over here. It's all swollen inside. Mm. Oh well. I had to make a call to a government agency yesterday. It was put on hold automatically by a voicemail type person. Not a real person. Twenty minutes later it hung up on me. Two, three, three times I've, that happened to me. So after an hour, I just started, when I was waiting on the hold, I started just punching any old button on the phone. And I got a voicemail prompt thing to reach this person, type in their name. I'm thinking, oh, at least I got something this time. So I typed in their name and was able to leave a voicemail in her voicemail box. The form said that if they didn't hear from me at 2.30 on the, on the Valentine's Day, that they would deny my case and this and that and the other thing, and I'd be screwed. So am I screwed or not? I don't know. My unemployment? Not getting anything. I've been following the rules. I don't know. My son says, you got to lie, you got to cheat. People tell me you got to lie and cheat. And I was like, no, I won't. I can't. Because if you get caught lying or cheating, then you're in big, deep doo-doo. <laughs> Life's already poopy enough. I don't need to be in deep doo-doo. <laughs> my brother told me that he saw one of my videos, and it's boring. He said, I didn't think it could be any worse than that. But he said, there are some people's videos out there that are worse than yours. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> He says, you keep looking around, you don't look at the camera. Well, above and beyond this direction is a calendar. Down here is a thermometer. Back here is a TV. And then the cats are usually down here or over there. And, you know, my attention is all over the place. So, what can I say? And then I look down here at the screen where the record button is to make sure it's in the right place when I want to quit. I just don't have to look down, but apparently I look down a lot. I look down a lot. Ooh. <laughs> I heard someone talking about singing, and someone else was talking about singing on another vlog of someone I follow. And I sing all the time in the car. I sing all the time in the shower. I don't think I have ever had a shower where I don't sing. And then most of the time, if I'm doing housework or something, or you know, I'm singing. And I've had complaints in the past of me humming while I was at work. I didn't even know it. Luckily, it wasn't anything ra uh, raunchy or, you know, it was just humming. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't loud, but they just, they noticed it. Well, I don't know what to say. Singing is good. I mean, singing, you know, helps you in good times, helps you in bad times. When you're scared, I always told the kids when they were little, if you're scared, you know, just hum or sing to yourself and you'll, you know, not be as scared. And I always find myself when I'm driving through a really bad neighborhood, I'm always singing. <laughs> Ooh, maybe that's what I need to do more of is is sing and hum right now because maybe that'll get me through this <sighs> poopy time. Poopy time. It's poopy time. <laughs> Peanut butter poopy time. <laughs> Have things 
to do. Ooh. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Upward and onward.